The FDA has recently approved a new drug called alemtizumab or Lemtrada for multiple sclerosis. And this is one of our more potent agents we've ever uh, seen developed for multiple sclerosis, but it also has some significant risk. Uh, when this drug was being developed, it was studied against the other active medicines that have been on the market and did have substantial effect on cutting down the relapse rate, disability, and MRI activity. This potency, however, comes at a risk, and, and the risk is uh, twofold. One is inducing other autoimmune diseases, uh, possibly thyroid disease, but also possible uh, low platelet count, ITP, has occurred, and even immune-related kidney dysfunction called good pastures disease. Also because this drug attacks all lymphocytes, it hits a marker called CD52 on the lymphocyte, and when the lymphocyte counts drop, we can expect a higher risk for infection. And this is a drug that may be tricky if people have already had episodes of recurrent outbreaks of cold sores or shingles or things of that nature. And uh, based on what we're seeing with this type of drug is you can have great efficacy, but it's not going to be for everybody with MS. Uh, and it might be one of those drugs where other physicians want to consult with a subspecialist in multiple sclerosis to say, is this the right time to use the drug? Not wanting to use it needlessly if somebody may have milder disease, but also not waiting too long to uh, treat somebody who's had, therefore, more brain injury from MS. We have other therapies that are newer for multiple sclerosis, particularly some of the oral agents many patients are interested in. Those agents may be beneficial for many patients. They also have some different risk as well. Uh, and uh, uh, the number of options has made caring for multiple sclerosis a little more complex, and there's so many variables the way. Uh, we've gone from having no treatments for MS back in the early 90s to now uh, approaching 13 different treatments available, and we have more on the launching pad. We've got a couple of re research drugs, uh, daclizumab and ocrelizumab, that work on entirely different pathways than any of the old drugs. Uh, we're starting to make headway of looking for better therapies for progression as well.